Yes. In which Oscar Wilde play would I find the characters Gwendolyn and Ernest? The Nick? importance of being Ernest? Yes. What is the smallest portion of an element which can take part in the chemical reaction, Mark? Atom? Yes. The Supreme Court of Canada voted in September of 1993 that the federal law against assisted suicides did not violate the, whose constitutional rights? Nick? Uh, Seward Rodriguez? Yes. Puck is a character in what, Mark? Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. Welcome to the National Championships of Reach for the Top, a game in which some of the country's brightest students have an opportunity to demonstrate their knowledge and powers of quick recall. Since last September, thousands of players in hundreds of schools all across Canada have been forming teams, playing in tournaments, local leagues, and provincial playdowns. Now it all comes down to these national playoffs, the competition to win this trophy. Now, let's meet today's national championship contestants. Representing New Brunswick for the third year in a row, Fredericton High School, with Nick Barnes, Mahmoud Sharaf, Brian Bagnell, and Rene Alar, with teacher coach Mrs. Carolyn Jones. And in only their third year of reach for the top competition, reaching the national final, Bell High School, the Ontario champs from Nepean, with Scott Murphy, John Little, Mark Jays, and Ian Clysdale. With teacher coaches, Roberta Romanco and Richard Majot. And now, here's your quiz master, Mark Lay. Thank you, Jim Frick. Thank you. Welcome to today's game. Well, this is it, the biggie. These two teams compete for this trophy, the Reach for the Trop National Trophy. And helping that along the way, we have two very astute judges. We have Paul and Steve. Mark. And the answers are going to come thick and fast. Well, five questions asked, five right answers, and both teams scored over 400 points in their semifinal wins. So we're going to see a lot of good action. A lot today. of action. Keeping track of the scores, Kathy Gay Kudas. <laughs> and the topic will be science when we return. <laughs> I'm John Lowell from Bell High School in Nepean, representing Ontario. Hi, I'm Nick Barnes from Fredericton High School, representing New Brunswick. And I'm Mark Lade. Join us, won't you, on Reach for the Top. <laughs> as promised, science, as we compete for the national championship, what is the name of the upper chamber of the heart through which blood, Mark? The uh, atriums. Yes. Or the oracle. Name the science of life and the origin and structure and development. Brian. Biology. Yes. What's the process by which plants form carbohydrates? Mark. Photosynthesis. Yes. That's right. Through the agency of sunlight. All right, let's turn to music. Identify the groups performing on the following cuts. They're all well known. You won't get any clues. So here's the first group. Identify it. Nick. Uh huh. No. Mark? Culture Club? No. No, it's Love and a Stranger by Eurythmics. Oh. But they're also well known. Let's yeah. try our second group. Yeah. Nick. Oh, sorry. John. Rush. Yes. And fly by Night. Well, you're doing better now. Let's try the third tune. Mark. Um, Beatles. Yes. That's the truth. With that, Ontario has 60, New Brunswick has 40. Scramble for 10 points. The fictional Yoknapatawpha County, Mississippi, is associated with the works of which 20th century, Nick? Uh, William Faulkner. Yes. Okay, these are yours. And they deal with the life of William Faulkner. Although Faulkner was an American, he enlisted in another country's air force during World War I. What's, what country? Nick? Great Britain. No. Canada. Which 1929 novel deals with the decay and fall of the aristocratic Compson family? Nick? Life on the Mississippi. No. The Sound and the Fury. In 1954, Faulkner published his longest novel, which won a Pulitzer Prize. Its hero is Christ reincarnated as a French corporal in World War I. What's the name of the novel? 
The Next. French lieutenant's woman. No. <laughs> Novel entitled, nice try, A Fable is the... Ontario uh, has 60, New Brunswick has 50. And we have geography. What's the second largest country in... Ryan? Canada. No. Second largest country in South America. Yeah. John. Argentina. Yes. What is the smallest independent state in the world? Nick. The Vatican. Yes. What's the third largest island in the world? Mark. Um, Madagascar. No. Third largest. Nick. Ellesmere. No. Borneo. Mythological characters. Which daughter of Priam, the king of Troy, was Ian? Clytemnestra. No. This daughter was a prophetess cursed. Of Cassandra. Hmm? Yes. That's right. Her predictions were, are always true, but never heeded. Which handsome young man was turned into a flower by the Greek gods for... Narcissus. Yes. Yeah, for his excessive self-adoration. According to the Greeks, who was the first woman on Earth? Mahmoud. Pandora. Yes. Sleipnir was a magical eight-legged horse belonging to which Norse god? Mahmoud. Odin. Yes. With those four correct answers, New Brunswick takes a 100 to 70 lead. And we're going to look at surrealist art now. Let's ch check the monitor for this one. Our first painting. Which Spanish master painted this one, Mark? Uh, Dali? Yes. Salvador Dali. There's a large museum devoted to Dali's work in which U.S. state? Nick? Uh, New York. No. Which U.S. state? Mark? California? No. Florida. Let's have a look at our second painting. What French master? Mark? Matisse. No. A toll collector who taught himself to paint created this work. Nick? Dichon? No. Henri Rousseau. The Sleeping Gypsy, the painting we just saw, was painted in 1897 and soon received serious attention from the French poet Apollinaire. And what young Spanish artist newly arrived? Mahmoud. Pablo Picasso? Yes. All right, moving along to international politics. Unsettled politics of Ireland. What is the name of the legal political wing of the IRA, Nick? Sinn Féin? Yes. 1981, Republican prisoner Bobby Sands and nine others died as a result of hunger strikes. They took this action as a result of what move by British authorities? Nick. Um, increasing troops. No. Deploy. Ian? Cracking down on the IRA. No. The political status of IRA prisoners was withdrawn. What did Dublin gain for the first time in the Anglo-Irish Agreement of 1985? Nick? Official independence from Britain. No. John? Home rule. No. A consultative role in the internal affairs of Northern Ireland. New Brunswick 120, Ontario 80. Word puzzles. We're looking for letters here. What letter do we add to the beginning of a word meaning in French, circule or round, to create a second word meaning an often large, finely divided leaf, especially applied to the ferns and certain palms? What letter are we looking for here? Scott. F. F. Yes. You add F to rond, you get frond. Another letter. What letter do we add to the beginning of a word meaning not far above the horizon as a heavenly body to create a second word meaning incandescent? What letter are we looking for here, Ian? B. No. Nick. S. No. G. You add G to low, not far above the horizon, and you get glow, incandescent. What letter do we add to the beginning of a word meaning a small wing of a building to create a second word meaning the range of colors used by a particular Scott? S. No. What letter are we looking for? A range of colors used by a particular artist. P. Nick. P. Yes. You add P to alette, and you get palette. Sports. Who was the 1992 Major League Baseball... Mark? Uh, Gonzalez. No. 1992 Major League Baseball World Series most... Uh, Molitor. No. Most valuable player, Pat Borders. <laughs> at what venue was the 1993 French Open Championship? Roland Mark? Garros. Yes. In hockey, what is called, what's it called when a player scores three goals in one nick? Hat-trick. Yes. In American college football, in what city is the Rose Bowl traditionally marked? Pasadena. Yes. Ontario, 110. New Brunswick, 140. 20-point special here. If a school reach or reach for the top team averages 320 points over its first five games, how many points does it need to score in its sixth game to bring its average up to 350 points per game? Nick? 620. No. Mark? Uh, 440. No. 500. Religion is our topic now. What's the predominant Christian religion in Cuba? Nick? Roman Catholicism. Yes. What are the two main religions of Lebanon? Nick? Uh, uh, Judaism and Islam. No. Ian? Christian and Islam. Yes. One of the three principal organized religions of the former Yugoslavia are, Ian? Muslim, 
Christian. Yes, that's yeah. all you needed. Roman Catholicism and Greek Orthodox and Islam. In what musical set in pre-Nazi Germany would I find a Nick? Cabaret. Yes. A Kit Kat Club. What 17th century scientist first used the telescope for Mahmoud? Galileo. Yes. What's the collective name for the nine daughters of Zeus? Mahmoud. The Muses. Yes. Zeus's Muses. In what province would I find the English Bay Beach? Nick. British Columbia. Yes. Which French poet addicted to opium wrote Nick? Uh, Apollinaire. No. Wrote Les Fleurs du Mal. Mark. Baudelaire. Yes. New Brunswick with 190, Ontario with 140. And when we return, we'll have the assigned questions here on the National Week for the Top. McClelland and Stewart, Canadian publishers, are providing a copy of Canadian Green Consumer Guide to each member of the eight teams entered in this year's National Reach for the Top series. As well... continues for the national trophy. Okay, Paul, at the half, what's the score? Ontario with 140, New Brunswick leading with 190. On to the assigned question. First of all, Scott and Nick, you're pitted against one another, and we're going to ask you to identify authors of novels. Okay, the first novel, Grapes of Wrath. Scott. Steinbeck. Yes. Novel about a man and a beast. Who wrote The Call of the Wild? Scott. Jack London. Yes. Okay, John. Mahmoud. Tom Sawyer. John. Mark Twain. Yes. A reflection on World War I. Who wrote A Farewell, John? Hemingway. Yes. Okay, Mark and Brian. The Expulsion of the Acadians, set to poetry. Who wrote Evangeline? Mark. Longfellow. Yes. The Tragedy of Captain Ahab. Who wrote Moby Dick? Mark. Melville. Yes. Ian and Renee. Short novel about growing up in New York. Who wrote The Catcher in the Rye? Ian. Salinger. Yes. A novel about the Roaring Twenties. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? Renee. Time. Great Gatsby. That's Scott Fitzgerald. Yes. Ontario swept those, and they take a 220 to 190 lead. Mathematics. To the nearest meter, find the circumference of a swimming pool with the area of 9 pi square meters. Nick. Uh, 81 pi squared. No. Area of the pool is 9 pi square meters. Mark. Um, 3 pi? No. It's uh, 19 meters. An infinite sequence of numbers is created so that the first term is one, and each subsequent term is one half of the previous term. Mark. Two. Yes. That's the sum of this infinite sequence. The hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is 13 meters long, and one of the other two sides is 12 meters long. Mark. Five meters. No. What's the area of the triangle? Nick. 30. Yes. Japanese politics. What Prime Minister of Japan was defeated in a no-confidence vote in July of 1993? Mahmoud. Kaifu? No. Mark? Matsushitu? No. Kiichi Miyazawa. What former finance minister led a revolt against the Liberal Democratic Party to form the Japan Renewal Party? John. Tokoyama? No. Yokohama. No. <laughs> Tsutomu Hata. What do the famous initials M-I-T-I -I stand for? Rene. M-I-T? Uh, M-I-T-I. Oh. Ontario? Ministry of International Trade and Industry. Ontario 230, New Brunswick 200. Okay, scramble for 10 points. In Canadian history, the years 1867 to 1896 are often named after what famous Canadian, Nick? Uh, McDonald? Yes, the McDonald era. Okay. These questions deal with the years 1867 to 1896, and they're all yours, New Brunswick. During this period, but after 1867, which three provinces entered Confederation? Prince Edward Island, British Columbia, and Manitoba? Yes. Who was the anti-confederationist whose party succeeded in capturing 18 of Nova Scotia's 19 Mahmoud? Joseph Howe? Yes. Back. McDonald was out of office for a session after he resigned because of what scandal in 1873? Civic scandal? Yes. Okay, well done. Leads change hands. Brunswick takes a 240 to 230 lead. Oh, it's tense. Foreign phrases. This Italian pasta term means cooked so as to be still marked. Al dente? Yes. That's right. 
often used in bibliography, is this Latin abbreviation, Nick? Ibit. Yes, in the same place. A fragrant liquid that is not as strong as perfume. What is it? But it's named after... Eau de toilette? No. It's named after a German city in which it was first made. Nick? Cologne. Yes. Here's a what am I question. First clue correctly answered worth 40 points. A blue fossil variety of me called odontolite is found in the frozen soils of northern Siberia. However, most people associate me with Africa and India. For 40 points, what am I, Nick? Diamond? No. Mark? Turquoise? No. I am composed of curved layers of dentin, which intersect one another. The resulting lozenge-shaped structure is highly elastic and finely grained. For 30 points, what am I? Black. Sapphire? No. John? Emerald? No. Nope. Large pieces of me have been used in the manufacture of billiard balls and piano keys. I am... Mark? Uh, cellulite? No. Oh. I'm opaque and creamy white. For 20 points, what am I, Nick? Ivory. Yes. Ivory is what we're looking for. In Brunswick, that's 280, Ontario, 240. Music. We'd like you to identify the following selections. In each case, there's a clue if you wish to wait for it. Here's the first one. Scott. Moonlight Sonata. Uh, yes. And uh, we'll take the second one now. Nick. Rhapsody in Blue. Yes. Okay. 20-point special. There are five so-called Gulf states, the ones bordering on the Gulf of Mexico. What are all five of them, Nick? Texas, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, and Alabama. No. All right. Ontario, Mark, Texas, Florida, um, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Yes. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Ontario, 270, the guns are 290. Canadiana, Ellen Fairclough. Mark. She was the first female cabinet minister. No. First woman federal cabinet minister in 1957 under what prime minister? Nick. Stephen Baker. Yes. The longest continuing newspaper in Canada, as well as in the... Nick? Uh, the Kingston Whig Standard. No. As well as in the United States, was established in 1778 in which Canadian city? Ontario, John. Halifax. No. Montreal, the Gazette. The Royal Conservatory of Music, founded... Ian. It's in Toronto. No. Founded in Toronto. <laughs> it was founded in Toronto in 1886, acquired its royal status in which 20th century decade? New Brunswick. Nick. Uh, the uh, 20s. No. The 40s, 1947. Minerals. Galena is an ore of what soft, heavy metal? Nick. Lead. Yes. Asbestos was such an important substance that it gave its name to a Canadian mining town. Mark. Quebec. Yes. Diamond and graphite are both forms. Mark. Carbon. Yes. What is the name of the scale used to measure? Mark. Mohs scale. Yes. To measure the hardness of minerals. New Brunswick 310, Ontario 300. Oh, mercy. Language arts. Add this word to the beginning of a new of the next three words to make three new words. Okay, we're looking for this word as a prefix to these three words. Right, with, coming. Mark. Fourth. Yes. Fourth right. Fourth with. Fourth coming. This word can mean to lean to one side or a catalog of names. What word are we looking for here, Ian? List. Yes. List. Mm. For 10 points, what's the modern name of the second largest city in Russia? Nick? Uh, St. Petersburg. Yeah. Speaking of St. Petersburg, on what Russian river is this? Ian? The Neva. Yes. A statue called the Bronze Horseman in St. Petersburg honors the founder of the original city, Mahmoud. Peter the Great. Yes. Who is the modern, or what's the modern name for the Winter Palace, originally constructed as a home for the Mahmoud? The Hermitage. Yes. And Freud, New Brunswick, lead, 340 to 330. From what Canadian city does Luba hail? Nick. Uh, Vancouver. No. Luba comes from? Scott. Toronto. No. Montreal. In the theater, what did Blanche Dubois take to get to Elysian Fields? Nick. Streetcar? Yes. Name Desire. From 1789 to 1790, what was the first capital of the United States? John. Philadelphia. No. First capital. Mahmoud. New York. Yes. A colorful tradition in the sports world has taken place since 1875 on the first Saturday in May at Churchill... Mark. The Kentucky Derby. Yes. If you were to encounter an Ursus Arctos Horribilis, Mark. That would be a uh, polar bear. No. On a path, you'd be advised to beat a hasty retreat. What are we talking about here? Arctos Arctos Horribilis. Time. Time. Grizzly bear. Hypo. 
Okay, all of these words, the answers begin with the, the prefix hypo. This Sappers? Is, no, no hypos. We've got to get on to some hyper questions here. What was French inventor Joseph M. Jacquard's most famous creation? Mark. Yes. What is fragrant tinder mixed with clay and used as incense? Nick. Potpourri? No. What do we call this? Frankincense. No. Joss stick. What is the name of the largest library in the world? Mahmoud. Library of Congress. Yes. In what period of the Mesozoic era did dinosaurs thrive? Nick. Uh, Jurassic. Yes. The music cabaret is based on the book Berlin Stories. Nick. Christopher Isherwood. Yes. Which national team won the men's volleyball gold medal in the 19... Nick. Uh, Russia. 1984 no. Olympics. USA. Mark. USA. Yes. From where is the Manx cat, Dr. Ma Mark? The Isle of Man. Yes. To what does the term Terpsichorean refer, Mark? It's a Greek muse of dance. Yes. Who wrote How to Win Friends and Influence, Mark? Dale Carnegie. Yes. Where in Canada is the home of the National Arts Center? Nick? Ottawa. Yes. In medieval times, what was Jacob's staff used for? Navigation. No. What was it used for? Mahmoud. Medicinal purposes? No. Measurement of heights and distances. Which celebrated Victorian composer of light opera wrote the well-known hymn Onward Christian Soldiers? Nick? Uh, Gilbert. No. No. Time. Time. Sir Time. Arthur Sullivan. What term in physics is used to describe the tendency of a body to preserve its state of rest? Nick? Conservation of, of uh, no. inertia. Preserves its state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line. John? Inertia? Yes. Which former provincial leader's book is entitled Not One of the Boys? John. Shield Cops? No. What's the lar- Sharon Carstairs? Yes. What's the largest city in Brazil? Scott. Sao Paulo. Yes. Mumps, an acute infectious disease which attacks primarily glandular and nervous tissues, is characterized frequently by the- uh, Swellness in the throat. No. Swelling of which glands? Mahmoud. Thyroid. No. The salivary glands. Who was the first NHL player to score 50 goals? Mark. Maurice Richard. Yes. Where in the body are the jugular veins? Mark. In the throat. Yes. What is a Jess in falconry? Nick? Uh, the hat, the hood. No. Okay. We'll take a short break, but we'll be right back. I'm still catching my breath. Oh, what an incredible game. The lead changed hands I don't know how many times. Four times alone in the snappers, and the final score has Ontario on top, 430 to 410. Well, the runners-up have nothing to be ashamed of. That was an excellent game all around. And uh, to offer congratulations and the Reach for the Top national prize, we'll call upon the executive producer of uh, Reach for the Top for Canada, Sandy Stewart, to uh, present the prize. We have a spokesperson. Maybe, Mark, uh, you can come down and accept the prize. And we'll call on the, uh, the editorial producer of Reach for the Top, Paul Russell, to present the McClellan and Stewart book prizes to the team, too. Well, Paul, perhaps you could do that. And we appreciate your following through this whole series. Hope you'll join us next year as Reach for the Top hopefully continues. Reach for the Top is designed as a showcase for exceptional Canadian young people. That's it for this season. The 1994 national champions have been proclaimed, and we say congratulations to all of our outstanding contestants. And thank you for watching. I'm Jim Craig. Join us again next season for more exciting competition on Reach for the Top. <laughs>